Uh, Peter, I think he's Hanlock. Or no, he, he's Zoo actually. Recently he's been playing Zoo. This is important, just having some kind of AoE. Recommend to try Craze Alchemist and Reno Priest. Interesting utility card. Instead of what? Like taking out Jill Scarab with Museum Curator? One of those? The value one is like Tosh Lane. That's the most. I think that's the most value. If the curator sticks, then we Valen chose him. We got Shadow Man's turn four, five. This probably ex might be Excavated Evil, and then six. Maybe we keep this one. Cause I'm not gonna play Spell Eater on turn six. Hey Swanky. Priest is fine. All right, you guys like Priest? First time seeing this Priest, so it sounds good. All right, cool. Dang, glad you guys actually like get feedback. Noise. Don't touch that. Don't touch that, Peter. Let's keep this guy out of top 100. He's 100, but not top 100. Many options for six drops. Very good options. Cabal is the one that stands out most. Probably Cabal the Egg. Sylvanas is, would be also fine. But I think we want to Cabal one of the eggs. Because then when we play Excavate Evil, then we get an uh, egg as or we get a uh, 4 4 as well. I mean, ideally, I can steal it after he plays Argus on it, but you can't always wait that long. Trojan. Owl. I probably want Owl the egg. Maybe he has an owl. Sea Giants. Is it time for Light Bomb? I think it's Light Bomb time. Leave the eggs alone. My notebook is running out of pages watching you a lot. <laughs> uh, thanks, Marcus. Uh. I'm not a fan of Shrink Mice and Reno, personally. Priest is awesome. Um, yeah, the top one. 100 is top 100. I was just kidding. JK. JK Rowling. I think the Shrink Mice is worthwhile. What are the other options for two drops? I guess you're thinking about Crazed Alchemist or Wild Pyro. I don't think there's enough spells to justify Wild Pyro, so that's why I don't play it. Never lucky. Never lucky, Peter. That's cool. So you actually like take notes during the during the stream. It seems like I'm giving a lecture then. My day's going well, Swinky. It's uh well, although today was really rainy. It was not pleasant to go outside. And that's actually pretty good. That's probably one of the ideal ones to steal. Besides the egg. Uh, OP OP. Grand Toshley. Oh yeah. So I'm kind of thinking if I had Toshley, it'd be a really good. Toshley would be a great card to play in Elise decks. Why don't people play Toshley? Because you get you get two spare parts that are good for like converting into legendaries or using it if you need to. It rained in California. Yeah, it rained a lot. I a lot today. My uh, jeans and everything got soaked. Yeah, 
new Doomsayer is just perfect with Cabal. Oh yeah, the new Doomsayer. That's an interesting card. Nico. So Nico is playing the Face Hunter. So we play Keeper now. We'll attempt to keep Excavate Evil too, but it's too slow. I think. We already have Reno, which is a slow card. So let's not keep too many slow cards. Death Lord is good. I don't remember... No, I think he does run Hunter's Mark. So we have to be a little careful. He full Mulligan. So... Hopefully he doesn't have the Hunter's Mark. Because it seems like this game would be... We coin out... We coin out the Death Lord. And then we put Valen's Chosen on it. <laughs> and then GG. Unless he has... Unless he has Hunter's Mark. Or if he, if he owls it, it's not even that good. He's gonna have a 2 8 that can basically destroy everything he plays besides the uh, Strangled Horn Tiger. Which is kind of a weird deck, a uh, weird card to put in a Face Hunter deck. Way to stay interested in Hearthstone in the moment. Yeah, it's kind of been it's been kind of stale with uh, without new expansion, new cards, you know, nerfs, changing the meta. So you just have to make your own fun, which means you gotta make decks that you like to play. I'm kind of tempted not to play the Valen yet, because it plays super hard into Huntress Mark. So if he has Huntress Mark, he'll do it. Or if he has Owl, he'll Owl it. You'd rather wait till he Owls it and then you play Valen's Chosen? That's like the double whammy. Double whammy. And we know his curve is pretty low, he plays Leopard Gnomes and stuff, so... Even if he kills the Death Lord, it's unlikely that it pulls out something really great. So what are the options here? One option is like develop the Shrinkmeister, get a free kill on this guy. And basically resign to letting him kill the Death Lord. But I'd rather him not kill the Death Lord. So this will force him to use an Owl or Hunter's Mark. It's really inefficient for him to kill this with like Quick Shot Kill Command. He could do that, that deals 5 and then trade everything in. That's like so many cards for one though. Or two cards, I guess. Hey, Chandy! How's it going, Chandy Land? You guys don't know Chandy. Give her a follow. She's been streaming and also casting at the Fireside Gathering. Awesome, awesome streamer, awesome player. Also, check out Aikatsu, another streamer, also mod. I feel bad because Aikatsu never, never will promote himself, right? Too, too modest for that. I mean, I guess I could shrink my straight if I really want to keep the Death Lord alive, but I think it's fine. Death Lord's gotten enough value. If he's greedy about not trading the Strangle Thorn Tiger, let's say he trades the Tiger into the Cleric. Oh, he plays Arcane Golem. No biggie. We got Reno. I just bought the original art for Holy, Holy Light. Congrats, Wabika. I didn't know they sold that. Actually, this piece list Dragon Overlay makes me wonder, have you played a Reno Dragon Priest deck? I haven't played um, Dragon Priest for a while. No, the overlay is more like i played a lot of Dragon Warrior before. So that's why the overlay looks like that. Okay. So we can death it. 
seems okay. What else am I going to use a death on? Get a free card. Got the Harrison. Harrison Jones. Found on eBay for a pretty steep price, but I think it'll be worth it. How do you know it's the orig original? How do you know? I feel icky. Alright, let's not make the mistake of playing Bran, Starseeker. And then Reno is not active anymore. Kind of like this. It's the most fun card. Because we only choose cards that have fun. Hobgoblin. I don't think we have any Hobgoblin synergy. I guess Thought Steel. I have enough minions that I don't really need this guy. We'll Thought Steal that Flare. Even though we have Kazan. Always tougher. Unleash the doggies. I guess we play Excavate Evil. Is he trading here? I kind of want a Tink Master though. Can we get lucky with a Tink Master? No, definitely not if he. if these are left up. So we play Excavate Evil. Then what? I don't know. Thought steal? I guess I have time. Yeah, so he does play 100 smart. Yeah, we have all the time in the world. We don't have to do anything. He's got two cards, we've got nine cards. We got Reno. He's wasting he's wasting all his damages. All of that damages. I don't think we need to be greedy anymore, do we? I think we just go ahead and play the Reno. Well, we're safe with this too, I think. 13. Even if he has like beast, beast double kill command, hero power that's twelve. Which I want him to do. I want him to use up his kill commands before I play Reno. Reno Mofo Jackson, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> quick shot into second quick shot. Just everything face. Quick shot face. Quick shot face. Let's see it. Let's see how quick you can shot that face. Why oh, I know Justicar? Because Sideshow replaces Justicar, Kappa. Kazan. Alright, let's get a 5 5. Dun 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 dun. Rars. Feels good, man. Is Sideshow there because it's fun? Yeah, it's fun. And it's like against... If you're against another Control Priest, then they probably will play Just Card themselves, so you just wait till they play Just Card. If you're playing against Control Warrior, you wait till they play Just Card. Um, against Draxus, you play it when they play Draxus. Against Warlock, sometimes you want the Life Tap, actually. So, because you have enough healing with Heal Bot and Reno, sometimes you just you just cop the Life Tap. And Stronger Body, it's a 6-5 for 6 compared to 6-3. Such a skilled face hunter, Kappa. Oh, well, this face hunter is really hard matchup against Priest. Like, Priest does pretty well. Are you guys sure he conceded because of Reno? Maybe he conceded because I got the I got the Tink Master off. With honor, the light 
shall bring victory. I think that's the real reason why he conceded. Let's keep some AoE. That's good. Unless it's Murloc Pally, then I cry. Because Murloc Pally runs equality and stuff for the Death Lord. Play some Astral. Am I ready to tank? I don't know, I'm still kind of hoping to get into top 100. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to tank yet. Why no Shadow Form Reno? Shadow Form, you need to have two of those. I guess that's only the duplicates you run, is the two Shadow Forms. I mean, it's a, that's just a completely different style of Priest. And then I think you wouldn't run at least in that version. He conceded because he had one mana left over. I have one mana flash heal. Flash heal face. Since he used a coin, he can't coin Keeper Ultimon. So, best thing he can do is like muster and hope the juggles all hit the Death Lord. Unless he wants to go with secrets. I really hope that's the route he takes, is that he puts up Noble Sack and like Avenge. Face, everything face. One more face, face. That's enough. It's enough of the juggles not going to face. Or not going to the Death Lord. That just survives. We can heal it. We can even play Valen on it. If we play Valen on it, that forces us to keep Ultimon. But it seems risky. It's just like really bad to keep Ultimon. I'd rather just do that. Like, if he's gonna crack it open anyways, like, you can keep her to crack it open, then why? Why waste uh, Valen's Chosen on that? Double secrets. Oh, triple secrets. All the secrets in its hand. So if we triggered all the secrets... Whoa. <laughs> it's like a reverse Mysterious Challenger. We play all the secrets and then Mysterious Challenger comes out. Alright then. So... I mean, probably one is Repentance. Probably I can just play this into Repentance. Try to find the death. Nice. No Repentance. Okay. So he has everything besides the Repentance. Hopefully he doesn't have uh, Divine... Divine Wanker. He has a he has a get down. He has a, a redemption. Who am I? None of your business. None of your business. Hopefully, he goes face. Oh, what? What a stream sniper. If we go light bomb here. Then he gets the mysterious. He gets this mysterious challenger back. So I don't really want to do that. Do you have another competitive spear up? No, it's probably Repentance. So I'd like the Shrink Magister to take the Repenting. I'm gonna play the Belcher. I just really need something to stay alive so I can like trigger the trigger the secrets with it. So now he has to kill the Belcher. He has to give me the Venge on the Shrink Meister.
I have a nice excavate evil. I guess I excavate an evil death. Unless the bench falls on it, then I can just play BGH. Yeah, I like BGH better. Because death can hit both uh, Dr. Boom and Tyrion, but BGH can only hit Dr. Boom. So, it's better to do it that way, I think. Because I encounter secrets, guys. When I just BGH Shadow. It's kind of wasteful. Like, the whole point of using Exavity. Evil and light bombs, you can hit multiple targets. Shredder is the best one out of those. Let's just go with Healbot. Maximize our life total. Probably a light bomb for Dr. Boom and then death. Save the death for Tyrion. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Uh, I guess it's still possible we can get MC Tech value when he plays Dr. Boom. That was earlier you had BJ Shadow up when you were first worried about repentance. Oh, okay. Got it. Ow, what? Okay. Tomb the Owl, right? So now we don't have to worry about Tyrion anymore, because we can just entomb that. Are we gonna get any better Shadow Menace? Maybe not. But let's just create the board. Shadow Man is stream. <laughs> one, one, one. 